Okay, welcome uh, to the Barney Music Festival and um, Mr. Donnelly, the music department. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, a little demonstration of the clarinet. And uh, this is a clarinet. And there it is. Uh, now the clarinet is broken into five pieces. I will show you them, I will show you how they are all put together. First of all, you've got the mouthpiece and what we call the barrel. Okay, so the barrel is connected to the mouthpiece. First thing you need to do is be able to get a note out of the mouthpiece. Now the mouthpiece has a reed, this being the reed, which is connected to the mouthpiece by what we call the ligature. Now to get a sound out of this, the, first of all you've got to put your bottom lip over your bottom teeth, like so. Okay, and then your teeth go on to the top of the mouthpiece, like so, and then you blow without uh, any pressure whatsoever. So you just let, let it go there, and you should get a little squeaky noise like that. Okay, so that's the basics of getting a sound. If you can get a sound out of the mouthpiece, you can do anything on a clarinet. So that's that. If you add it to the barrel, like so, all right, you get this. It gets lower, okay? And that's two bits put together. Now, the secret of it, if you want to practice it, just get your finger, all right, make sure it's very clean, all right, and put it on your bottom lip, and your top teeth should actually go to the end of your nail, being there. Right. And that is the position to have the mouthpiece in. There. And you get that. <clears throat> we add what we call the upper joint. Now the upper joint is this, all right, and it's the first part of the instrument. And if I was to blow it now, it goes even lower. And you get that. So there's three bits of our clarinet. Three sections. Right? The fourth section is what we call the lower joint, and the lower joint is put on like so. All right, so it's connected, and the holes must all run equally down the centre, all right, like so. And if you blow this, it doesn't really matter much because now the air is escaping through the holes. The final bit is this. And if it, you do that, it looks like a bell, and that's exactly what it's called. It's called a bell. And you put the bell onto there, and finally you have a completed clarinet. That is a clarinet ready to play. So if you were to put your thumb on the back of here, on the first hole bit there, called the thumb hole, right, you get this. <coughs> And then if you were to put your first finger on the first hole, you get that. Second hole. Third hole. Now on the back, with your right hand, you will see that there is a thumb guard, right? Thumb piece here that you rest your thumb on, so it's automatically there. And your fingers then should equally line up with these three holes. So you get and then little fingers use all of these keys around. And that's what you get. If you get everything correct, now obviously the best thing to do is to have the teacher there with you so that they can see whether you get it in correct or incorrect. Um, but that's basically how to play the clarinet. Okay? I'm going to demonstrate by playing a small piece of music. This music is called Summertime. All right? And hopefully, with a few months' practice, you will be able to play this also. All right? So if you just bear with me, I will play 
summertime for you. And that's the beautiful sounds that you can get out of a clarinet, where the I play it beautifully is a different matter. But that's the sort of thing that you can get. That is the clarinet for you, and I hope you've enjoyed. And uh, hopefully, one day you will take up the clarinet or think about taking up the clarinet. It's a beautiful instrument, and good luck. Bye.